I don't know about you, but when I was in elementary school, every morning I had to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the divine nation being born through conscious people who know where the headwaters are and have decided to let the divine government be their sovereign. <laughs> okay, what should our national colors be? <laughs> <laughs> it, it really is something to um, acknowledge that we have allegiance to something. Because even saying the Pledge, pledge of Allegiance is, um, is a way of acknowledging that our country had some desire to have sovereignty and care for all its people. I've told all, all of you that, you know, my job of doing invocations in my Rotary Club was ended when they decided no religion in Rotary, even though it had been going on for 33 years every week I'd been doing invocations. And their lack of ability to know the difference between religion and connecting to the sovereign and just being thankful was sad for them and sad for a lot of the people because they really enjoyed just a moment of being of service, acknowledging that we do this for a reason. And so I actually said to them, um, you do know the words under God are in our Pledge of Allegiance. And uh, should we stop saying that too? I mean, how much are we going to keep cutting off our connection to the source of our being just because human nature, the human mind has decided what it means to be a nation, what it means to be a people? There is one humanity. Anybody here not signed up to be part of it? <laughs> I don't think you can get out without dying. So to, to pledge allegiance to my connection to the sovereign, to pledge allegiance to my decision to let the divine government be known because I bring it. I respect it. And when I'm confused, I go right back to the headwaters to be with the universe again, with the wonder and the knowing of that place. Pledging allegiance to something like this doesn't mean you already know how it's all going to go. It's actually quite the opposite. You really need to be open to the fact that you aren't going to know how it's all going to go because everybody has a chance to be there and then we get to create together and have this magical, wonderful experience of co-creating together. When I think about the government, people think of government as being a controlling, disciplinary thing. How about the government being the government of love that says, how can I allow you to create the best you can? And you, and you, and you. And how can we do this together in a way that magic is our language? Blessing is our, our language. Support. Tension. Pressure. People think that if you're allowing the sovereign to be present, there'll be no pressure. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh so violently, but you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> but holding pressure together, because what wants to be born, just, just imagine that the pressure we're holding is gotten so intense because the entire world is gonna change this week. Having people consciously do this together brings a lot of pressure, not just to the people who are not participating, but to the people who are. And how do we manage this pressure and how do we actually allow something amazing to happen is knowing that this collective is sacred. <laughs>